Anybody here on a date? No? Not on a date. I see men hugging women. What do you call that? No, we're just... <laughs> this ain't a date. We're just chilling. But I don't understand guys that are like, oh, I can't date this girl or that girl because she's over 30 and 130 pounds. Blah, blah, blah. I'm an asshole. Do you not like meatloaf and blowjobs? Meatloaf and blowjobs are rock, man. I got three. I do. Say your significant other gives you head and makes you meatloaf in the same day. They love you. They do. Or they're cheating. Or for the really fun part, they're gonna murder you. That's right. Sleep with an eye open. Be your last blowjob in your life, the male man. That's what I'm telling you. Murder your sleep is a setup. She sucks you off, and she makes you meet love, or gives you some. What are your favorite dishes in the same day? Sleep with an eye open. That's what I'm telling you. Like, anybody here seen the movie The Wrestler? The Mickey Roar, Conversa to May? Like, he falls in love with her. He's a wrestler, she's a stripper. He makes a big old scene because she's not wanting to get with him. And he, you know, he, like, try a more suave approach, Mickey. That's what I would have done. I would have been, like, getting a dance, shoving the money in her ass, and then, like, take the money I shoved in your ass, and buy you a little kiss, and chicken nuggets, and furries. <laughs> and the gel pen while you're at it. Maybe I mean, these worlds don't combine. Tell me, what, she took the money out of your ass, and bought you these kiss and chicken nuggets. <laughs> tell me, tell me, Mr. Tomei. These worlds line up, these greedy worlds. The wrestling is stripping. We sweat for a living. You understand? <laughs> oh, oh. I like, I never really told this story on stage. I told it Friday to a minimal crowd. But, like, you know when you get in a relationship with somebody that's so crazy, they'll send you, or they'll just say the craziest stuff, or send you the craziest, craziest text. Like, this one girl I used to hook up with, like, we didn't date, I just did it when I was, you know. In those times, in those times, we just needed. But she texted me one day, she was like, so stuck on me. She was like, do you know, you are so important and so crucial. There are worlds just waiting for you to come and worlds waiting for you to go. And I texted her back and I was thinking, if I was so important and so crucial, why not I be doing something more important and crucial than taking a shit when you sent me this text? <laughs> you think I would. I ain't sweating no atoms. I ain't helping shit. I'm working my own shit out when you sent me this. I am important and crucial. 